So this is the factory fuel dampener and regulator setup. We're gonna clean it up a little bit because this is all kind of a monstrosity. Nothing illegal about doing this. Um, and just simplify it. So this is the just the standard Cobb regulator kit that we slightly modified because on the GCs and the older GDs, they don't have the fancy fittings like this. They're just standard hose. So there's a, a matching one of these, we just pulled them out. And then we can just install them as you normally would in the car. We have our fuel pressure line here. And then uh, we just gotta remember which direction it goes because it's really important as people screw it up all the time. If you're looking at the car, the very bottom one, that's your feed into the engine. So that one goes to this. That's feed. Feed at the bottom. Don't get it confused. The blue is the EVAP line. That's gonna go to this little one. The top is actually the return for the fuel. So that's gonna go to the middle one. Feed, the bottom, black, EVAP, blue, return. So if your car- I want to sit on here. Feed, return, EVAP. They're not in the same order. So if you ever change out your fuel filter on an older car and you're wondering why your car doesn't start, double check your lines.